This is going to be a video product review of the General Tools Digital Angle Finder Ruler. It is five massive inches of stainless steel. It's a woodworking protractor tool with large LCD display. Right now it's on sale, but I bought it during Prime Day. I got a really good deal and I thought, do I need this thing? Are you kidding? Probably not. Uh, I just bought a, uh, a saw and maybe I'll use it to get my angles. But, you know, I'm trying to build. I'm not a really good woodworker. Let's just face it. Thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, leave a comment. You probably already turned this video off. Um, that's okay. I'm going to leave an affiliate link in the video description. Donations. Yeah, uh, nobody's watching this thing. Who am I kidding? I'm trying to make this. I'm doing this handmade. What the heck am I doing? Um, I'm trying to show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm trying to make this handmade. Jewish star. I don't know what I'm doing with woodworking. And so we've got, I think it's 30 degree angles or 60 degree angles. And I'm just clueless how to do anything. So this has all been done. You can see I've got all my markings on here. I thought maybe I want to buy this thing. I could use a protractor, but this thing is supposed to give you your angle. I'm going to take it out of the package. We'll see if it's going to give me an idea how bad I am with my woodworking. It's under 20 bucks on sale so buy the thing even if you don't need it women are going to be impressed that you got a nice five inch tool that measures your angle it's an angle finder let's open this up as you need to know it's an easy open box or container after cutting this thing i found it just pops open i take the tool out and i went are you serious they didn't give me a battery battery is hidden on the back how did i miss that lots of different languages if you don't know english go pop this little thing over here things gonna open up I'm going to see if the battery comes out now and we'll test it out. Just in case you make the same mistake that I made because you don't want to read, there's a plus over there, plus is the side of the battery that has the writing on it. Put the plus piece in there, it's going to snap in. We'll slide this into the hole now. Insert this men, insert this thing into the hole. Okay, okay, it looks like it's inserted. We got an on off button and we got rev, which is probably I'm going to turn off. Why isn't this turning off? So you can't turn it off, it's probably got an auto off. Hold on. No, oh, that zeroes it out. Okay, is that what that is? Don't read instructions. What's the info? Degrees? I'll be back. Should read the instructions. It's probably got an auto off. It looks like you press this for on. The only thing that I'm looking at is why are these holes not lined up? Maybe they don't need to be, but why are these not even lined up? That kind of worries me. This is kind of lined up now, and it's not perfectly lined up. Does it matter? I don't know. Let's press on. Resets it. If I get close enough, that's all I care about. So let's see, how bad of a worker am I? You got loose, loosen and tighten or loose and tight. I think I made these to be like 30 degrees or 60 degrees. I have no idea. So let's see how bad of a worker I am. Overall, it's got 4,000 ratings and it's got a five rating of about 74%. So that's not too bad. The low ratings are very low. So that's, that's really good. Let's see. As long as it helps me do my woodwork, that's all I care about. Let's go adjust this thing. Let's adjust the angle. I hand cut this to 60 degrees. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing with wood. And you can see the cut is not straight. It's not even. See that? See all the gaps over there? 58 degrees. I'm pretty impressed that I have absolutely no clue how to work with wood. And I was able to do this with a, uh, with a Japanese pole saw. I got within one degree. And chances are, if I went over to here, I'd be on the 60. So let's check this out. So overall, for $20 or less, this is a neat tool. The, neat, the reason it's a neat tool is because it lets me know what a bad carpenter I am, which I already knew. We're lined up on the bottom. Check that out. Hand saw, a pole saw with like 80 teeth or something, and I get to 60 degrees. I am impressed. 60.6. This tool... Okay, angle Iser, 
What did I do here? 59? Wow! I feel really good about myself. You know, I was really sad and thinking the whole world's falling apart. And then I go and I look at this and I say, dude, you are amazing. Now we can see over there on the, there's little gaps over there. 60? Oh my gosh. This tool by General Tools, General Tools Store, General Tools Affiliate Link, spent $20.00. Put this on your woodwork and you're going to say, I have no idea how to build, but boy, is this a neat tool. I'm sure you can use this. You can put this on your, why can't I remember the name of that? What is that saw? It's just, uh, ah, hold on. Miter saw. Told you I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun being a, a hobby woodworker, trying to make my bird houses and uh, my Jewish stars, which this is going to be if I can ever get the job going. Uh, I'm happy I bought this tool. That's all I can say. If you're a woodworker, you're going to be happy. Pop this little thing on your miter saw. Adjust your blade when you buy it. Um, again, you've got the loosen and you probably know more than me, but I'm happy for, you know, for hardly any money. I bought a tool that it's so much easier than these plastic protractor things that you just, you don't get good measurements unless you're a math teacher trying to show how smart you are. So thank you General Tools for this angleizer. Uses a CR2032 battery. Um, if you're not going to use it for a long time, I would just go over here and pop this thing over there so you're not burning out the battery and draining it. But these things will last in your computer for years, so you're okay with that. Um, price is good. It looks good. It's five inches, and ladies, that is all you need when you're working with an angle is five inches. This is really kind of cool. I'm excited. I think that Rev allows you to, uh, to adjust something that I don't know because, oh, and it, it remembered the memory. I mean, what did it say? It remembered the memory. No, it didn't. Okay, so let's go and close this down. I, again, need to find out how to reset this thing to get it accurate, but it just zeroed out. And so if you were going to have just a straight thing, let's go find something that's straight before we finish the video. Let's go get my hard drive and measure a 90 degree angle on my hard drive. Is it really hard? I mean, is it really 90 degrees? It's 88.4. This is kind of cool. 88 point something. You can go all around the world and measure things and say they didn't build this building the right way or the door is off by one degree. People are going to love you. Affiliate link in the video description. Buy this pretty cool tool. I am going to read the instructions. If you want to tell me what the rev button is, uh, probably lets you do a revision or something, but I don't know because I don't care that these holes aren't lined up. It doesn't bother me for the type of woodwork that I do. I will never be able to uh, do any better work, so something like this is at least going to let me know how far off I am. Half a degree. I am awesome. Thanks for watching. Click.